Hello from Gillies, Toronto Wonga. Uh, heading out here now. I have a flight to Singapore tonight, and the boat is here now. The flight's gonna be absolutely packed, uh, but I'm taking this boat back to Bali, which is about an hour and a half, two-hour boat ride. And then from there, uh, a bus down to Kuta, which is down the southern part of Bali, uh, which is right next to the airport. So why I should be there around 4 p.m. I got a flight around 8, so I got some time to maybe get some food or something. Um, and we're wheels up. It should be in Singapore. Probably, hopefully, get to the hostel by midnight tonight. So it's probably gonna be a long day of travel, but uh, you know, beautiful scenery, pretty relaxing just to chill out, sit places. A lot of hurry up and waits, but should be get there no problem. Everything's booked, and uh, I feel like I think I should be good. One hilarious thing though is that I have a neck pillow because I had two 12 hour flights that brought me out to Bali. So I have this neck pillow that I've hanging from my bag. And it's tough because it's a really good neck pillow and I, I love it. It's amazing. But at the same time, it's like I don't, I can't just take care around everywhere with me. Oh, well, I gotta get on the boat here. Just got on the boat and I found someone else's wallet. Oh. So we handed it to the captain. Important official business. Second captain. So yeah, you yeah. can see, you can I, give the captain. I found this is someone's open. wallet. Yeah, I don't know whose it is. It was in the seat. Some Benjamin guy from Australia. You can must take the video, and then we can open. Mm -hmm. Maybe Benjamin from France. Benjamin plays Jamie from, from France. Yeah? Oh no, Australia, Australia. Australia. Poor guy. That sucks. Nianto, you to? No, you makatang di di tegakan tamu ni. Tiga bang ragu, di kapten ragu bang. Not a bad little spot up here. Okay, thank you, man. Yeah, thank you, you guys. Good, okay. good job, yeah. Oh, Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Thanks, boys. Okay. Change the world one wall at a time. <laughs> Got some um, Singapore. Singapore money, because I don't know what it's called. It's uh, Benimir, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the last one is 11.18 to catch the westbound no, train. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. All right. So how do I get to a cab? Uh, just walk to the rival hall. Neck pillow that I had earlier, I gave it up today. I was on the plane where we everyone was uh, getting off the plane, the ones in Singapore here, and I had my neck pillow and I started looking around because the flight that I was on, it came to Singapore, but it was going to Amsterdam next. So I knew that like a bunch of people were gonna be probably on that flight for a while. So I was like, okay, well, does anybody want a neck pillow? So I started asking around. It turns out this older gentleman in the corner wanted to buy one at the Singapore airport, but since it was so late, all the shops were closed and stuff like that. So I was like, I explained it was my situation, said that I don't need to carry with me because I'm backpacking for four months and it's just gonna get the way um, so I just gave it to him and he was very happy about it so it worked out perfectly because I didn't want to just throw it out because it was it was a pretty good neck pillow and I loved it but uh, so I'm happy someone could at least use it um, so yeah worked out and now I guess my baggage is a little lighter a hostel downtown it's called the dream lodge What's the name? Dream Lodge. Dream Lodge. and thankfully today with all the money that I've been making off YouTube I was finally able to purchase my first new car Yeah, me and my new fancy Audi are gonna take on Singapore here. Yeah, that's dope. All right, well, I'm trying to take the MRT to get around and I need to get a tourist ticket to get on it, um, but I can't buy them here. So I have to go to a 7-Eleven that's like a couple streets over to get it and then literally come all the way back. Doesn't really make any sense, but all right. We found her, let's go. Who knew that the 7-Eleven would be the holy grail? paint like that that's a crazy oh he's a master he's a master really yeah i can tell oh my gosh i can barely draw circles so people out here painting the skyline all water paint too which is kind of unique all right so this area i'm in right now is called the marina bay sands why it's called that i'm not too sure uh i mean it's a marina and it's a bay so maybe it's sandy Makes sense to me, I guess. Gordon Ramsay has a place here, who knew? Holy crap. 
Gordon Ramsay restaurant. They serve the beef Wellington. It's for two people and it costs, it takes 45 minutes to cook. It's $160. It's crazy. I mean, I'd love to try it, but <laughs> that's definitely not in the travel budget. So these are the Marina Bay Sands. The Marina Bay Sands are kind of like the area, but this here is the hotel. I am going to try to get all the way up to the top. Oh, you know, just a casual river inside of a mall. Singapore is crazy. The rich, like it's, it's posh, that's for sure. So these massive buildings here, these are the hotel for the Marina Bay Sands. It's like a big convention area. There's a convention hall, casino, mall, literally everything. The mall is packed as you could probably see before. Absolutely packed with Gucci, Dior, Louis Vuitton, everything. Uh, tons of brands I've never even heard of before. So these massive buildings are the hotel and I'm gonna do what I can to get to the very top. Um, so right now it took me forever to find this, but I finally found a bridge across. Let's see where this takes us. Wow. Okay, so apparently you can't take that bridge to get to the top. It literally just cuts right through the hotel. But where I'm walking to now is the gardens by the bay. Just like a massive forestry area right next to the water. They also have these like cool big tree things. I'm really not too totally sure what they are, but we're gonna find out later. I also wanted to come back here later tonight because I heard at around 7.30, 7.45 p.m. They have like this crazy light show and you can walk around and uh, while the light show is going on. So I definitely want to check that out later. But while we're here, might as well take a quick look. Thank you. Thank you. You'll be going up to 56 floor. Okay. Enjoy the view. All right, thank you. So ticket cost like $26 Singapore dollars, which is almost 30 bucks Canadian. You only get to go to the observation deck too. You can't go around to like the restaurants and bars, which kind of sucks. Um, but you know what, like I'm here, I debated not buying a ticket at first, but like, oh man, I can feel the pressure change to go up in the elevator. My ears just popped. It's gotta be worth it, right? Like when in Rome. Every single building here has a max of 280 meters by aviation regulations, so they can only go to certain heights. Uh, they consist of like massive bank buildings though, such as Citibank, Charter Bank, and even residential buildings. It's a whole mix. Way over to the left here, you can see a massive port. Cargo containers, nothing crazy, but it's huge. Right, looks like some type of amphitheater or stage. Looks like they're still building it though, so I mean, maybe like a new addition. Pretty cool. Holy, the bay though here is filled with ships. Crazy. There must be at least 250 ships out there, and they're big ships too. Smells delicious. Four dollars. Place is crazy. Food market here in Chinatown of Singapore. The uh, number two, the fried fish laksa, the bigger one, yeah, please, yeah, sure, yeah. 
Chinatown market, absolutely delicious food. Oh god. Oh. Just left the Chinatown market, absolutely delicious food, great drink. I met these two guys from Singapore, but they're also Sikh. So one of them was just helping me out, giving me a ton of information, where to go, what to see around here, um, some like nightlife options too, which was fantastic. Just kind of getting to know them. Might hang out with them later this weekend if I'm still around. Somehow I went from one Chinese food market to another. So this is the Fullerton Hotel. It used to be a general post office here in Singapore, turned into a luxury hotel, and the place is massive, absolutely gorgeous. trying to work out as much as possible while traveling and also just stretch as well. It's really important to keep your body obviously in good shape. You're doing a lot of walking and also carrying backpacks and stuff like that it can be pretty straining on the body after an extended period of time. I've been trying to just do like push-ups, sit-ups uh, as kind of the main two workouts. I also brought a band with me that I use when I'm around the hostel and stuff. Some hostels have spaces where you can work out, uh, but the current one I had in Singapore didn't. So I found this dock that was right next to water, had a great view of the Marina Bay Sands. So it was really just like the perfect place. I was trying to work out as much as possible, but really I've been getting them maybe once every three days. It's tough to find the time, the space, and it actually having energy after a long day of activities. I was listening to Kendrick Lamar's new album while doing so. So it's definitely just a great time to spend time on myself. I'd come here for a week probably, but if I came again, it would be with like a hundred grand in my pocket. It would be so much different. There's casinos, there's all this luxury shopping, fancy hotels, good food. Like it is definitely a dream paradise if, if you got a thick wallet. For myself right now as a budget traveler, um, just the hostel costs right now are uh, pricey as enough. So it's unfortunate I can't get the full experience of Singapore, but you know, you get a taste of it, you get a lick here, and to be honest, it's a place that makes me want to come back. So if anything, I guess they're doing a perfect job. With that being said, right now I'm headed back over to the Gardens by the Bay. It's just around 7 p.m. and they do a light show around 7.30, 7.45, I was told. Probably once it starts getting dark. So I don't know when it starts, how it starts, where it starts. I really have no idea. So I haven't gone through yet. So I'm just going to walk over, see how it is and uh, hopefully capture something cool. 